I'm Martin Lyons. I'm a third generation farmer on our family farm here in Cambridgeshire. It's based on 165 hectares of predominantly clay arable system. We also do contract farm, share farming and other operations, farming a total of just over 500 hectares. We predominantly grow winter cereals and some spring cereals. We've moved away from a mixed farming system from when my parents and grandparents were farming to a more, probably an intensive arable system. And for the last 10 to 15 years, we really have been moving towards that nature-friendly system, an integrated farm system for nature, landscape, and just lately we're reintroducing livestock uh, to build soil health up and add biodiversity to the landscape. We've been in stewardship for over 20 years, and that was really just taking out unproductive areas and buffering water courses to meet legislation. But we suddenly noticed actually where we have those habitats, we have more wildlife, and my eyes really started to open around nature, biodiversity, birds, beetles, predated insects, and all this stuff. Stuff that I wasn't taught when I was in university. So for the last 10 years, we really have been on a journey of putting nature at the heart of our farming system, not just around the outsides, but in the center of our fields, and making nature a stakeholder in my business and make it a valued partner in my production system. So we have habitats around the outside, habitats in the middle of the fields, big bushy hedges, flower margins, grass margins, water courses, nesting boxes, and a life cycle of nature and a life cycle of a farming system that hopefully makes my whole landscape and business more productive and more profitable. We've come over to this field to look at one of these flower margins we have placed in the center of one of our large combinable crop fields to look at how we add biodiversity to the center of the fields as well as just the outside. So we really deliver a connected, integrated pest management system using the whole of our landscape. The science says nature can move, predatory insects can move between 50 and 60 meters. So we need these approximately 100 meters. Our biggest machine is 30 meters, our fertilizer and that sprayer applicator. So we've put these between 90 and 120 meters depending on the size of our fields. So the habitat hasn't got to come from the far edge, it lives in the centre. So we have all the predating insects and beetles and bugs that go out to eat in my slugs and my aphids. We have all the pollinators living in our fields that go and increase our yield through pollinating crops. On our own farm, we haven't needed to use insecticides, we haven't used them at all across the farm for nine years. But delivering this interconnected landscape for nature in our fields increases our productivity, increases our yields, and reduces our need on expensive pesticide products. These margins are not in my way because they're set out within my tramline system. They don't go right to the very edge. We have an operating headland tramline, so they're no longer in my way, but I'm seeing real yield benefits and nature benefits by delivering an interconnected landscape. We're standing in a field that is our herbal lay, and you can see how brown it is. It's been a really dry year for us. But what you can't capture is the amount of bird life and insect life that is across this field. We have swallows sweeping across, picking up the insects coming from the livestock. We've just walked past a little nest where there's mice and voles nesting in the ground. We have pollinators on some of the flowering elements within this landscape. Without the livestock, much of that will not be here. And we really need that mixed integrated landscape approach to deliver for biodiversity, soil health and livestock production. So integrated pest management is taking a whole farm approach around pesticide use and trying to use farming methods, rotation, soil health and other practices before we reach for that pesticide choice. So we can change our rotations, our cropping, our use of nature and then when it doesn't quite get work to plan we can use that pesticide product as and when needed. So IPM is taking an approach where we look at our soil health and our problems we may have there look at what we have in our landscape and what predatory insects and pollinators we need and trying to deliver that alongside our farming system to avoid some of that pesticide use. So on our own farm we've managed to focus on our soil health, reduce our weed burden by changing our rotation, drilling later, changing varieties of crops we grow and then also delivering habitat around the outside and as well as the, into the middle of the fields because we need that interconnected landscape for predatory insects and for pollinators and a really healthy soil structure. So for myself, for my own business benefit of doing this, we've seen our herbicide use reduce by over 70%. My fungicide reduce by nearly 60%. Many of the products I've been using and have to use in the past to correct the problems we've had have not needed to spend that money. 
So we're seeing increased profitability and predictability in our profits going forward.